What do you do when people treat you like a doormat? And then when you finally put your foot down, they lose their minds. Mm -hmm. I try to be agreeable, but there's a limit. When I stand my ground, people act shocked. Any advice? Yeah. So, so this is actually kind of the same thing, right? You need to be balanced because what's happening with this dude, I assume, is that sitting around, getting getting like a pushover, like a doormat, people are kind of walking all over him. Then all of a sudden he does an instant 180 and goes, get, puts his foot down, right? Mm -hmm. And now you think that they're going to do a 180. You think that they're gonna say, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to, oh, sorry, Echo, I didn't I didn't know that that offended you, I'm sorry. No, when you do that, they're like, what's wrong with you, yeah, bro? you just started tripping. Yeah, yeah, you're freaking out over nothing. So, of course, when you stand their ground, they're gonna be shocked, right? Which is what you're saying happened. This is like no surprise at all. So what you need to do is, is you gotta draw the line a little bit earlier, but without going nuts. And I think I got a good example of how you do this. Okay, let's say you got a dog. And the dog is like kind of mellow and happy and just doesn't, just all good. And then like all of a sudden, you know, you're walking by the dog one day and rah, it bites you on the arm. <laughs> like like sure. big yeah. time. Yeah. Big time. How do you feel about that dog? Yeah, bad. I don't Th like that, that dog. That's bad. That dog's getting put down. Yeah. Right? Yes. This dog, let's say it bit one of your kids. Oh, yeah. That, that dog's getting put down. Okay, so that's, that's what this guy's doing. Hmm. All acting all like everything's like nothing right. bothering me and all of a sudden biting people right huh. think about what a dog like a normal dog does what a normal dog does is it's if it starts getting offended a little bit or starts getting problems it's it like stands up a little bit right mm -hmm. and then it's gonna it's gonna growl now that's an indicator so even a kid even a child knows mm -hmm. I don't know what age but pretty young kids know that a growling dog is a is is a warning yeah what else do dogs do? Dogs show their teeth. That's another warning, like, hey, that's another line in the sand. Mm -hmm. And and barking, right? Because you have to bark. And I mean, a dog barks at you, and a dog barks at you, it's got your attention, it's growling at you, you know what's gonna happen next if you keep doing whatever it is you're doing, right? You mm -hmm. need to back away from that dog. Mm -hmm. Now, if you did, if the dog did all those things to you, and then it bit you, you, you'll still be mad at it, but you at least know yeah. that you kind of had it coming, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. So, so there you go. That's what this dude needs to do a little bit of. He needs to learn how to growl a little bit, mm -hmm. how to bark a little bit, how to show your teeth a little bit, how to just stand up, posture correct. Because there's, you know a dog, if you know dogs at all, dogs have a posture. Mm -hmm. And they have a posture, their ears are down and their 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 tails down. When when they get fired up, boom, ears are up. They're on alert. Their back is they get the cackles can stand up and everything. That means like, okay, that's that's even before growling, that's happening. Mm -hmm. Alert. So this dude needs to learn how to come to an alert, in, improve his po increase his posture in those moments. Not when it's getting too far, but like when someone when somebody gives you a little jab, you know, you can't bite them. Yeah. You got to give a little growl. Yeah. Back them off a little bit, you know? Yes. And again, this is, I don't know you, you know, so it's hard for me to say. Some people just have a hard time dealing with when people harass them. Yes. Because I think the best thing to do when somebody makes fun of me is just to like be like, yeah, that's, yeah good one. You know, like, because, you know, just like we were talking about before we started this podcast. If I let you know that whatever you just said to me bothers me, bro, I can expect you to just keep getting after that thing <laughs> until I snap, <laughs> right? Yes. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be all hypersensitive. The other thing to remember is, man, when people are making fun of you, it's not like they hate you most of the time. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like people yeah. talk smack to each other, yeah. right? People talk smack to each other. And, and I guarantee, this is, this, is, this is a good way to think about it. If someone talks smack to you, if you if, and then you both leave, let's say it's at work, you go home, the other person that was talking smack goes home. You go home, you're thinking about it. That person that was talking smack yeah. didn't think about it one millisecond after he left the office, he doesn't yeah. care. He's yeah. not sitting there thinking about you. He's not thinking like, man, I'm, oh man, I'm really glad I told yeah, Echo yeah. that you know he, that he had a funny looking eyebrows. That was awesome. <laughs> I can't believe how weird his eyebrows are. Like, I mean, that's, mm -hmm. like, he's not doing that, right? 
he's not even thinking about it. He yeah. just went home. He's carrying on with his life. Carry on with your life. Yeah. Don't get all tied up about what these other people are thinking of you. It's not that big of a deal. Don't no sit around thinking about it. it's it's a it's a perception that we have that the whole world revolves around us and that yeah. people are sitting around thinking about us all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like they're not thinking about you all the time. They don't yeah. care. They're yeah. they're at home. There's not too many people that are actually thinking about you all the time. <laughs> Especially if they're making fun of you, like they're they're not thinking about that all the time. Yeah. So just relax, take a wrap off, and just you know try and have a little bit less tension, and you know and try and learn to growl a little bit or at least protect your space a little bit. Yeah. And I, these are kind of contrary contradictory things that I'm saying. One of them's like, hey, laugh at it. The other one's like, kind of learn to growl a little bit. Mm. I, I would say first, the first method is better. The first method is like, hey, just laugh it off. Don't worry about it. Yeah. These people aren't thinking about you. They don't care. Mm. The, probably, it's like when we had Jordan Peterson, and he was talking about his friend Lunch Bucket, right? Lunch Bucket? Yeah. The guy that worked, in, and as soon as everyone realized that it bothered him that they called him Lunch Bucket, they everyone just called him Lunch Bucket, and then they he quit because he couldn't yeah. handle it. So don't be if you were, if someone calls you lunch bucket, you know, hey, cool. Yeah, my mom makes a good sandwich. Mom makes a pretty good sammy, you know? <laughs> and then boom, you break out the lunch bucket. Yeah. You're like, you know, go Embrace with it. No, it. no factor. Yeah. If you start freaking out about this stuff, it's gonna drive you crazy. So Yeah, man. And so that, be careful. Don't freak out about stuff. If you have to, learn to stand your ground a little bit, but don't just start snapping. Like a yeah. dog. Like a, yeah. like a rabid dog. Yeah, that 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 there's a good little escalation that example yeah, uh, yeah. escalating yeah, you know the dog thing decent. because i mean getting treated like a doormat that could look like a bunch of different yeah. things you know yeah. it's teasing that seems like the obvious one or whatever but you know that could be a lot of stuff yeah, like, yeah. that you know, could be like hey grab me some coffee yeah right sometimes people just do that because you haven't ever said to them like you know like hey man are you ever gonna get me coffee? What's yeah. up? You know, you just make a joke about it. It's the it, same right? thing. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like dealing with it, like as a do- you know, if something bothers you. So, th- and I could see this maybe happening because every once in a while, like you know, you kind of run into these scenarios where like someone does something that you um, you don't really like or you don't I don't appreciate the way they treated me right mm-hmm. there during that scenario, and it sort of always happens, but it's too small to make a big deal out of it at that time. And when you're a agreeable person, yeah. you're just like. All right, yeah, I'm gonna essentially I'm gonna let it slide. Yeah. Whatever, you know. But yeah. it happens again, yeah. then again. But I'm agreeable. I'm letting it slide. Haha. Ha, maybe I'll even laugh it off. Mm. Whatever. So to the other person, they're just like whatever. They're just how you said. They're not thinking about it. They're yeah, just they, going about their business yeah. and they're getting a laugh here and there, which instantly gets forgotten and yeah. whatever. They keep going about their business. No, no, no factor. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, man, this is, <laughs> I'm getting yeah. tired of this. Yeah. I'm straight up getting tired. So it happens one day, maybe I got a little less sleep that day or something. One teeny tiny thing, f- I'm flying off the handle. Yeah. Hey, I don't appreciate this and this and that. You, do, and you always do it. And they're yeah, like, do like, I always do this? Because yeah. even if I did, I, would, I didn't get any. So then you get this little reputation. People act shocked, yeah. as the guy says. You know, when I stand my ground, it's the other person. It's kind of like, well, you, why are you standing yeah, your ground right now? It doesn't make sense. Route. Like, even if I did remember all the times I've done this, yeah. you were laughing the whole yeah. time. Like, it, it doesn't compute. You know what's you know? funny? Now that, I, now that I think I think about times in my life, like when I was younger, and someone would stand their ground on me or yeah. whatever, and I'd be like, what are you talking about? I'd be the exact person that you're talking about saying, what are you talking about, man? Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Why are you freaking out right now? Yeah. And they're like, you always say stuff like this. And maybe I'd put together, like, okay, maybe I do make fun. Whereas now that I'm older, mm. if someone was to freak out like that on me, I would instantly recognize, think to myself, like, you know what? I probably do things that I shouldn't. I probably, yeah. oh, yeah, I kind of ride this person, and that's why they're freaking out right now. Yeah. A L- little bit more aware yeah. of but, my impact. Yeah. Uh, and it, But in a way, you sort of had to... I mean, I'm sure you've sort of you're sort of familiar with this, you know, even like yeah. painting that picture. It's like it's obvious you're familiar with yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but when it's happening to you, you're kind of not. But then if you have to go <laughs> go back and do like some investigation of your whole yeah. like relationship with a person to, to understand, OK, <laughs> now I see how that could have been interpreted back yeah. last year and then maybe three months ago and then maybe last week and then like right now. OK, I'm after, you know, then it, it but it doesn't compute naturally, you no. know. So, yeah, if you do that the escalating dog yeah. thing, it'll it'll be more clear, I think. Yeah. And, and you only, can escal- stand only be an escalated dog. Only escalate the dog scenario if you can't just have a good time with it and relax and not worry about it. Yeah. Which is the primary goal. Yes. But being treated like a doormat, like I said, like if, you know how like, 
people are just so you know people a uh, people pleaser type of person like in a relationship or something okay like um you know like uh i don't know it's it, i can't think of an example but you can't you think know. of a movie reference that's very <laughs> pathetic <laughs> Actually, actually, I can think of you're a bunch. Deep. But, uh, oh, oh. Anyway, if you're like a people pleaser and you do mm-hmm. everything for, you know, and then they don't do it back, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you let your, you know, husband or wife or whatever, you let them go out every Saturday just because they want to. They want to go play poker or, you know, one of these things. That, that What's the common thing that they do? And they do. And they come back late go and drunk. And go play. <laughs> but, no, well, it'll be way worse than yeah, that. It'll yeah. be just total, like, whatever you need or want, you got it. And then, like, the one time they say, hey, I want to go shopping on this they'd be like oh shopping well you got to do this you got to do the kit you know like that kind of where where it's like a disproportionate Mm. like relationship you know kind of thing like that can i can see how it can go down with those types of relationships Uh, you know like being it you can't just laugh those things off in life you know you you do have to do the escalation thing be like hey that's a little bit more serious Yeah. yeah true 